this person is about to die and there is nothing you can do about it hallelujah this is prayers and counseling with damaris are you seeing me for the very first time you're welcome i love you so much thank you for clicking this video the lord bless you mightily in the name of jesus amen I pray for you, Father, in the name of Jesus, whoever is watching me right now, may you bless them. Meet them at the point of their need in the name of Jesus. Every pending prayer over their lives, Lord, I pray that may it, the answers come to them speedily. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. God says this person is about to die. And if you do not do this, there's nothing that can stop this action from happening. Now, God sends his word. When he reveals, he redeems. God's word is not to scare you. As a matter of fact, if a prophecy scares you, then it's not from God. God's prophecies is not, are not to scare you, but it is to edify you and to make you understand certain things. God says in your family, people just die. People just die suddenly people just die suddenly and you have really been worried things just happen to people and then you hear that this person is dead tomorrow this person is dead and all that he says there is a force that is after your, your family there is a force that is after your family fighting your family god says if you do not pray if you do not pray nothing will stop another dead if you do not pray people will keep dying if you do not pray, these occurrences are going to keep happening. They are going to keep happening. God says you should pray. The Bible says, if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray, he says, I will hear from heaven. I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. I come here today to pray and make a mark of exemption over your life. I pray for a mark of exemption over your life in the name of Jesus. You and your family are exempted from this spirit of death in the name of Jesus. Yes, you can be exempted. Jesus said, put the blood at, the, at, at your doorpost. When the angel of death passes, it's going to pass over. I put a mark of exemption over your life and that of your family in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now the Lord bless you, the Lord keep you, cause his face to shine upon you, be gracious to you, give you peace, the shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken. I love you, but Jesus loves you and I even more, and that is what matters, amen.